for your input. Members of the public, if you'd like to address council, please come forward. Good evening and welcome. Please give your name and your address. Hi, my name's Emma Edmonds, um, and I'm at Shelburne and Cedar Hill Cross. Um, I assume you guys probably know what I'm here to talk about. That's J1. Um, so I have two main points that I think it's important for the council to hear and for our Saanich residents to hear. Um, changing bylaw 520 from allowing four non-related peoples to occupy a dwelling to allowing more, maybe unrestricted number of unrelated people is going to change very little in the day-to-day -day lives of the Sandwich community. And I'll tell you why. Because I'll let you in on a little secret, we're doing it anyway, right? <laughs> Um, when me and my seven roommates were evicted from our house for not being in compliance of this very bylaw, we, you know, shed some tears, packed our things, and proceeded to find other illegal suites. <laughs> now, this isn't because I enjoy sharing a bathroom with four girls and boyfriends and all of that. No, it's because, um, you know, two reasons. There's a financial reason. I can't afford to live any other way. Rent is pretty expensive these days. <laughs> and second thing, um, there just simply isn't the vacancy. You guys hear it all the time. We don't have enough housing here. The second point, and I think a lot of criticism challenging a change to this bylaw um, that we're going to hear tonight is it will bring additional you know, parking issues, noise, garbage complaints to the district. And to that I say, Sandwich has other systems in place for this, for parking, for noise, for garbage. This isn't going to become the Wild West out here just because we changed this one bylaw. Now, what will changing this bylaw do for Sandwich? The only implication of changing this bylaw is it will ensure that our vulnerable renters, our low-income renters, can be or can't be, as happened to me and my roommates, evicted from their house with only a month to find other accommodations. I'm asking the Sandage Council to change the bylaw to unrestricted to protect our vulnerable renters, to protect our low-income renters. We live in this amazing area. I think we can all agree with that here in Sandage, um, and all of our residents deserve to feel safe and secure in their homes and not wake up one day and have nowhere to go. Um, Thank you so much, all of you, for your time. Thank you for your input. Members of the public, if you'd like to address council, please come forward. As you take your seat, please give uh, your name, your address, and the items you're speaking to. Thank you. Oh, 